Hello basketball fans and welcome to the University High School Gymnasium for a crosstown battle between the Waco High Lions and the University Trojans. I'm Lark Smith along with the Waco ISD TV crew here to bring you this play-by-play -play story of the visiting Lions under head coach Earl Farley who come in tonight's game with a record of 14 and 10 on the season. They are 2 and 1 in district play against the University Trojans, coached by Tarl Lloyd in his first year back as the head coach of the Trojan basketball fortunes. 17 and six is their record on the season, and they are off to an 0 and three start in district play. Starters for Waco High being in, introduced to the crowd here, which looks like it may be a capacity crowd before the night's over. Those starters for Waco High include Senior Tony Carfield, number two. Senior number three, A.J. West. Also a senior number five, Tyreek Crosby. A junior number 12, Jimmy Veal. And another junior number 10, Dale Smith. That's the Waco High starters. University starters now being introduced to the crowd. Starting with senior number 15, Derek Hopkins. Also a senior number 14, Justin Williams, who's the only returner from last year's Outstanding team under the direction of Rodney Smith. Also on the starting lineup is junior number 31, Wilson Boggess. Number 43, sophomore Marquavian Mitchell. And number three, Tyron Archibald, who is a junior. Archibald came on strong in the final part of the football season as the quarterback for the university football team. You know he's got some athletic talent. Both he and Archie, or Archibald and Williams both played football for Rodney Smith this past football season. Earl Stinnett will lead our three-man officiating crew. He's at midcourt, ready to get this one underway. Eight-minute quarters. And high school basketball, the tip's going to be controlled by Waco High. Jimmy Veal will bring it across the timeline. University drops back in a 2-3 zone as Waco High works the ball around. Caulfield gets it back to Veal, back to the top to Crosby, back to Veal on the left side. Looking down low, nothing there. Waco High going to be patient here in the early go. They do like to shoot the three, though. Get it back to Caulfield. Caulfield's usually the guy that triggers the offense. Back to Ville. In the corner it goes to A.J. West. West had a 24-point night his last time out against Bryan at the Waco High Gym. He'll take the three, and it's good. A.J. West gets the first points of the game on the three-pointer. 50 seconds into the contest. 3-0 Waco High. Here comes the Trojans. Archibald will trigger things from the top. Gets it off to Hopkins on the right side. Guarded by West. Looking inside, gets it off to Mitchell. Mitchell guarded by Veal. Waco High in a man-to-man -man defense. Mitchell gets it back off to Bogus. Bogus in the corner, a wild throw and nobody there. Try to get it to Hopkins, but Hopkins wasn't quite in position to take the pass and so the turnover gives the ball to Waco High. Again, University drops back. Looks like a 3-2 zone this time. Crosby from three, off the mark. Hopkins rebounds for the Trojans. Picked up at the timeline by Veal, gets it into the left corner. That's Williams, back out top. University looking to Penetrate the man-to-man -man defense, but right now just kind of standing around. Finally, Archibald tries to drive in, but it's cut off. Into the corner to Hopkins. Hopkins drives the lane. The underhand layup, no good. Mitchell, or West, comes down with the rebound, gets it off to Crosby along the baseline, has it blocked by Williams, but Waco High controls it. Caulfield brings it out. Passes it off to Veal. Veal drives in, puts up the soft floater, and it's no good, and rebounded by Bogus. 5.40 left to go first quarter. We're still at 3-0. We're going to have the first foul called. Looks like it's going to be on 12. Jimmy Veal, his first, team first. Going to send Archibald to the line. 
shooting a pair. First one is good. University finally breaks the scoreboard. A minute and 22 seconds into the first quarter. That's also on the mark. Two for two. Three to two our score. Veal gets it off to West, back to Veal. Caulfield on the left side. Out top to West, back out to Veal. Looking for something underneath. Now bounces inside to Crosby, back outside it goes to Veal. Caulfield's going to back it back out and reset things. It's a screen, but doesn't take the shot. Veal drives in, takes it back outside. Crosby thinks about the three, but gets it back to Veal. Veal with an open shot in the lane, but off the front of the iron. Veal gets the rebound and is fouled in the rebound. That was going to be on University's Tyron Archibald, his first. Not a shooting foul, so Waco High inbounds underneath their own basket. Out to West. West is a long-range bomber. you got to get somebody out on him. Caulfield gets it off to Veal. Veal drives in, fakes a pass off, and then just floats it in. And Jimmy Veal has his first two and gives Waco a 5-2 lead. Waco High going to give pressure now in the backcourt. University breaks the press, though, as Archibald brings it across. Down the timeline, it goes to Mitchell, and Mitchell travels on his way to the paint. And Mitchell turns it over and goes back to the Lions. Down in the corner to Crosby. Crosby against Mitchell, and blocking foul is going to be called on Mitchell. His first, second team foul. It's on the floor, so they'll bring it in from the baseline. He'll come out top. West will take the three. Off the mark this time. August comes down with the rebound. Down low it goes to Mitchell and a nice lay-in. Good work there by University to get their first basket of the night. Makes it a 5-4 game. Three-pointer on the way by Caulfield's off the mark and Mitchell has the rebound. Driving all the way to the hoop. Mitchell can't get it to go off the glass after the shot by Bogus. Now it goes a little quicker and quickly down court. Dale Smith tries to put it up, but he's fouled. I believe that's going to be the second foul on Archibald. So he's going to get a rest. It'll be after the free throws that Brian Smith will come into the game. Dale Smith at the line for Waco. It's the first. Now you got Brian Smith in the game for University. Dale's second shot's also good. Both teams are two for two from the charity strike. Seven to four, our score. Waco high on top. Into the second part of the first half, first quarter. Driving into the lane, Justin Williams is fouled. The second team foul on Waco High. I believe they're going to call that on A.J. West. It'll be his first. Sends Justin Williams to the line for his first points of the night, hopefully, for University. Good on the first one. Teams are five for five from the free throw line here in the early go. That one rolls off the front rim and on down through the net. One point game at seven to six. West will bring it back to the top. University stays in that 3-2 zone. Kind of a sagging 3-2. Come out on Caulfield. Now they whip it around the corner to Veal. Veal tries to drive, but gets cut off. Three-pointer put up by Crosby is off the mark. Goes out of bounds off of Waco High. University basketball. 3.20 left to go in the first quarter. 
But go high up by a point at seven to six. Bit of a dangerous pass there, but Williams is able to get free, gets it down to Mitchell on the baseline, and Mitchell puts it in. Second basket of the night for Mitchell. He has four points with 3.02 to go. University has the lead for the first time at 8-7 on that basket by Mitchell. Crosby drives the baseline. From underneath the basketboard, the underhand shot won't go. Once again, down low it goes to Mitchell, and he's got two more. He's got six. University increases its lead to three at 10 to seven. Well, that's a big key for University is getting the ball down low to Mitchell here in this first quarter. Good looking sophomore, Mitchell. They drive into the paint. Blocking foul gonna be called. It'll be on Crosby. That'll be his first. Each team has three fouls. I'll take that back. That wasn't on Crosby. That was on Brian Smith. Got the wrong five. University on the break. Nice lay in there by Justin Williams for his first basket of the night. He's got four points. And a five-point lead for University. Waco High has been tuck, stuck at that seven for about two minutes now. The University has grabbed the lead from them. I notice Darren Dawkins has checked into the game for Waco High. Gets the bounce pass off to Jalen Cormier, who's also checked in along with number 11, Jordan Fuller. In fact, looks like we got a full fresh five in there for Waco High. As Keemon Taylor, number 21, is also into the game along with 32. Bronte Wilkerson. Fuller gets it out to Dawkins. Dawkins is a pleasure to watch. He doesn't look very, very tall, but he can jump out of this gym. Big shot put up by Fuller off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Williams for University going the other way with a minute 30 to go in the quarter, and the Williams will go coast to coast and have it blocked and knocked out of bounds, or did they call a foul? I thought he got all ball, but not according to the officials. It looks like it's going to be on Jordan Fuller, his first. I think there's a few fans in the stands that agree that was an excellent block on the part of Fuller. Well, that'll put Justin Williams at the line. University right now four for four from the charity stripe. Williams has four points, two for two from the free throw line. They get three for three. Right now, Marquavian Mitchell, the high point for either team was six, and all that has come from the field. Derek Hopkins checks back in for University. We'll give Bogus a breather. Off the mark with that one. Rico High gets the rebound. Fuller brings it across, gets it off to Dawkins. Dawkins drives into the paint, puts up a wild shot, but is going to be fouled on the floor before he gets there. Going to call it once again on Brian Smith. That's his second, fifth team foul. Into the corner to Cormier. Dawkins bounce pass inside back to Cormier. He thought about the three, gets it off to Fuller. Fuller will drive and put up a shot. It'll fall and he's fouled. And Jordan Fuller gets his first two of the night. I'm sorry, gets his second two of the night. And he gets one more. It's good. Well, he's got three. Makes it a three-point game with a minute left to go in the first quarter. Williams backs up, then drives, and is blocked as he puts up the shot and still able to make it fall. Wilkerson had position on him, but Williams able to get it to go. He's got seven points in the quarter. They're going to call that one on Henderson, 25. As he came into the game to pick up the foul. And send Fuller to the line. 
shoot a pair. Checking at the scores table to make sure they got everything correct. I got University with 16 fouls, Waco High with three. Fuller at the line looking for his fourth point of the night. It was good. August comes back in for University and Williams will go to the bench and get a rest. 45 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Fuller hits on both ends. Boggs goes coast to coast with it, has it blocked, but it's fouled. Well, that's a pretty good little leaping block there. Wilkerson got way up there to block that. The Boggs will go to the line. I didn't see who the foul was on. Boggs gets the first free throw. That's his first point tonight. Good with that one as well. Teams have only missed one free throw here in the first quarter. Full court press put on by University and Fuller travels with the basketball. The full court press works to University's advantage. They're down five, excuse me, they're up five at 17 to 12. 32 seconds left to go in the period. Hogs to trigger the inbounds pass. Gets it off to Henderson. Henderson gets it to Hopkins. Picked up by Dawkins. Hopkins dribbles around Dawkins, pitches in the corner. Three-pointer on its way, no good by Sadler. Drive pitch inside is knocked away. Cormier knocks it away. They go on the fast break. University able to stop the fast break. University comes up with the basketball. Henderson gets it out to Boggs. Boggs will put up the three-pointer at the buzzer, and it just goes off the front of the strings. So we played the first eight minutes, and after the first quarter of play, University leads Waco High by a score of 17-12. to 12. University in the first quarter led by Justin Williams with seven points. Mark Wavian Mitchell has six, two apiece for Boggs and Archibald. Meanwhile, Waco High is led by Jordan Fuller off the bench with five points. Jimmy Veal has two, Dale Smith two, and Adrian West has three. Double check my scorecard here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Yep, lots right. Uh, statistician Steve Tankersley trying to catch up as well. We're ready for a second quarter action. University with a five point advantage to start the period. August will inbounds the ball from right in front of our scores table here. Get it in to Sadler. Sadler gets it to Hopkins, and Hopkins will start the play, guarded by Crosby. Lake Ohio looks like they have their starters back on the court to start the second half, while University doesn't necessarily have its starters. And an errant pass inside intended for Sadler will turn the ball over to Waco High. Veal and West bring it in for Waco High. Caulfield's on the floor along with Crosby and Dale Smith. Those are the five starters for Waco High on the court. Sadler and Hopkins and Williams on the court for Waco High, or for University, along with Boggess and Mitchell. Williams goes to the hoop, unable to get it to fall, and Veal comes down with the rebound. Has his behind-the-back dribble stolen. Sadler 
outside, right on the three-point arc. Two-point shot, not good. And here we go on the fast break, and A.J. West can't finish it off, but gets his own rebound. Dale Smith cleans it up and puts it in. First basket of the night for Dale Smith. Makes it 17-14, a three-point contest. University will slow it down. Fog is guarded by West. Off to Sadler. Sadler gets a block from Mitchell. Thinks about the three, but pulls it back down. Off to Hopkins. To Sadler in the left corner. Bill Smith guarding him there. Hopkins looking to drive. Is cut off. Now stops and hits the true three, but it's no good, and it's rebounded by Crosby for Waco High. Waco High with a chance to make it a one-point game or even tie it with a three-pointer. A.J. West with a cross-court pass to Crosby. His three-pointer is good, and he's fouled. Crosby with his third first basket of the night is a three-pointer. It ties the game up at 17 apiece. And I did not see who they called the foul on. 15. That'll be Hopkins in his first. And Crosby gives Waco High the lead with the free throw. 18-17, and now a foul called. Sadler goes down. Crosby called with the push. It'll be his first foul. Sadler looking for the inbounds, get to the Mitchell. Mitchell across to Hopkins. Hopkins look from the top of the key, unable to get it to go. Caulfield with the rebound. Beal brings it across quickly. Throws it in the corner to Smith. Smith's three-pointer is no good. Fox comes down with the rebound for University. Gets it off to Williams. And now a timeout called by University head coach Tarl Lloyd. Carl was the head basketball coach at University until 2012 when he moved into administration and Rodney Smith took over the basketball program and Rodney continued the success that Tarl Lloyd had started with the University basketball program. Matter of fact, last year with a mostly senior ball club, University Trojans made it all the way to the regional semifinals. Rodney Smith, with the opportunity to take over the football program, jumped at that chance. As Tarl Lloyd, if his return to the basketball court was kind of a forced issue, or if he missed it, he said, oh, I missed it. So he's back by choice. Good to see him back on the sideline. 5.47 left to go in our first half. We go high a race to five point. Waco high advantage at the end of the first quarter very quickly in the second quarter. 18 to seven, University on top. Waco high staying in their man-to-man defense. Williams drives, will put up the shot. It's partially blocked by Dale Smith. Mitchell cleans it up but can't get it to fall and Caulfield's on the run to West. West will bring it back outside as he was picked up by Hopkins. Now he'll throws it in the corner to Crosby out to Caulfield. Veal will try to drive and he'll travel. Now they call a foul on the floor. That's the reason he traveled is somebody body blocked him. It's like it's on 15, Hopkins. I got that as his second. We'll double check with the uh, scores. Say it should be one and one as it's the eighth foul. Earl Farley reminding them that Jimmy Veal should be getting a one-and-one one opportunity here. The university is still at the 17 points they had at the end of the first quarter. So all the points here in the second quarter belong to the Waco Lions. As Veal hits that free throw, he's now four for four from the free throw line. I'm sorry, that's his first free throws of the night. Looking at the wrong line, misses this one. He's got three points in the game right now. Two-point lead for Waco High at 19-17. Approaching the five-minute mark of the second quarter. Three-pointer put up, no good by Williams, but Sadler has the rebound. Pitches it back out to Hopkins. He can't get it to go. The foul called 
Uh, the ball's dribbled on the out-of-bounds line by Veal as he tried to clear it out. Either that or he stepped on the line one of the two. Sadler will trickle the inbounds pass under the university basket. Pitches it way outside. Caulfield intercepts it, gets it off to Dale Smith. Dale Smith will let him dunk it home. Six points for Dale Smith. Waco High extends its lead to four at 21-17. Got nine points here in the second quarter to none for University. Williams drives, can't get it to fall, but he's fouled. I believe Dale Smith was there and see if that's what the official tells us. Yeah, it's on number 10, Dale Smith, his first. Sixth team foul for Waco High. Send Williams to the line. Misses the first. He's now three for five from the line. He had seven points in the first quarter to lead university scoring. Won't get this one to fall either. West skies to clean the rebound. Bounce pass inside to Dale Smith. Saved on the baseline. They say Crosby traveled. Crosby seemed to believe he was fouled. Jordan Fuller going to come in for Crosby. Again, a four-point lead for Waco High after they trailed by five at the end of the first quarter. Sadler, guarded by Fuller, will pull up and take the three. It's saved from going out of bounds by University. They're going to call a pushing foul on Jordan Fuller. I'm sorry, no, that's on uh, 31. Wilson Boggs, his first. And that's going to be a one and one for Jordan Fuller on the other end. Fuller had five points in the first quarter, three of those from the free throw line. Seven of eight from the charity stripe. Fuller three for three. Somebody got in the lane too soon. Maybe it was Fuller following his shot after he missed it. From the University basketball. Mitchell gets back there to help on the inbounds. Williams will bring it up. Picked up by Caulfield. Throw to the baseline to Sadler. Tries to get it back inside. Now Waco High's on the run. Caulfield will take it all the way and lay it in. Caulfield's got his first two points of the night. It's a 23-17 contest, and University's been held scoreless for over four minutes of the second quarter. Ball goes out of bounds off the University. Waco High's basketball. I was on. Take that back. It went off the unit. Waco High. Barcher ball back into the game. Takes over for Sadler. Hopkins to trigger the inbounds for University. Goes all the way to the backcourt to Archibald. He's got two points in the game. All that from the free throw line. He's picked up by Jordan Fuller in that Waco High man-to-man -man defense. To Bogus. Bogus goes to the right side. Three pointer up on its way and good from Derek Hopkins. That's the first tray of the night for University in their first three points of the second quarter. Makes it a three point game at 23 20. University had as much as a five point lead in the first half. Lake Ohio raced that with the first nine points of the second quarter. Jimmy Veal back in the game with the basketball, has it blocked and knocked back to him. Bounce pass to West. Back to Veal. Inside pass to Dale Smith. Outside it goes to Caulfield. He puts up the tray and it's good. And we got a tie ball game. Caulfield hits his first tray of the night. Excuse me, Waco High is up 26 20. Had that going the other way. That's just Waco High's six point lead. Crosby back into the game. Caulfield to get the rest. 
Blake Ohio on top. University has the basketball. They're going to get it in. Gets it into Boggess. Boggess gets by West, takes it all the way to the hoop, but can't get it to lay in. And Say the ball went off of Waco High out of bounds. Comes all the way out to the top to Archibald in the corner. Hopkins drives. Cut off by Smith. Looking inside to Mitchell. Mitchell, a double team, goes into the paint and has it stripped away by Veal. Long pass downfield to Crosby, and Crosby will lay it in. Crosby's got six points all in the second quarter. Out of bounds, nice hustling play by A.J. West, who almost went into the stands. Waco High has increased its lead to eight at 28 to 20 with 2.01 left to go in the second quarter. University has been outscored 16 to three here in the second quarter. After they led 17 to 12 at the end of the first. Inbounds to Boggess. Boggess against Fuller will back in, turn around jumper, will roll across the iron and won't fall down. Waco High on the run. Randy Carpenter, 23, is checked into the game. A.J. West puts up a three-pointer that's no good. Boggess gets the rebound, and he's fouled by West. West trying to get the basketball back, picks up his second foul. One and one for University on the other end. That'll send Boggess to the line. He's two for two from the charity stripe so far in the game. Oh, this is Steven Johnson, 43, has checked in for Waco High. Boggess can't get it to fall. Waco High rebound, Jordan Fuller. Tries to pass it back out, and it's taken away by Hopkins. Hopkins against Crosby, and Hopkins will lay it in. Five points in the period for Hopkins. 28-22 our score with a minute 24 to go. Crosby directing traffic, gets it off to Randy Carpenter. Running back on Marty Herbst's bat football team. Fuller's three-pointer no good, rebounded by Williams. Williams on the break, will put it up over Dale Smith, and it'll go. Nice running play by Justin Williams to give him nine points in the contest. It's a four-point game at 28-24 with a minute left to go in the first half. Crosby's three-pointer a little tentative. Fuller looks at it, decides to back it out. Going to force Waco, our university, to come out of that zone. Either that or they'll just dribble it out until they get the final shot. Fuller seems to be content to just dribble time off the clock here in the last minute. Clock below 25 seconds now, and University still not coming out of the zone defense. They go high, content to have the four point lead here and maybe take the final shot. We'll see either coach contemplating a timeout. Ten seconds to go. They now put the ball in action. Crosby from the corners, double teamed. Gets it inside and it's stolen away by University with two seconds left. Shot put up and it's no good on the runner by Archibald. So after our first half of action here at the University High School gym, our score is Waco High 28 and University 24. Stay tuned, second half action coming your way in a moment right here on Waco ISD TV. Welcome back to the University High School gym for the second half of action in this crosstown rivalry between the Waco High Lions and the University Trojans. Waco High with a 28 to 24 lead at the break. Thanks to six points apiece from Tyrick Crosby and Dale Smith, five points apiece from Tony Caulfield and Jordan Fuller off the bench, and three apiece from Adrian West and Jimmy Veal in that first half. Justin Williams from University has led all scores with nine points in the first half. Mark Wavian Mitchell had six. Derek Hopkins, five. 
Wilson, Vargas, and Byron Archibald two apiece. That was your scoring in the first half. Second half of action underway. Waco High has Crosby, Veal. Try an alley-oop pass inside to Dale Smith. It doesn't work. A.J. West also on the court along with Dale Smith. Waco High, the university starts off with Archibald, Mitchell, Hopkins, Bogus, and Williams, their original starting five as well. Both teams have missed a scoring opportunity here in the early third quarter. Crosby will take the three, it's off the mark. Rebound brought down by Bogus for University. On the fast break, gets it to Hopkins. Hopkins takes it outside to Williams. Williams for the three off the backboard, no good, but Mitchell is there to get the rebound and put it back up and in. Gives Mitchell eight points. He was a force for University in the first quarter, and he scored six points and helped them to a 17-12 first quarter lead, but Waco High outscored University 16-7 in the second quarter to have that four-point lead at halftime. Another three-pointer on its way from Caulfield. It's off the mark, and looked like Archibald came down with the rebound, but he did so out of bounds on the baseline. So Waco High will have the basketball underneath their own basket. Earl Farley's in his second season as the head basketball coach for Waco High. Hand it off to Crosby on the inbounds, and he's able to drive it and put it in, and he now has eight points in the game, his first two points of the second half. And now... Waco High in second place in the district standings behind Brian Rutter, who is 4-0. Smith gets the rebound for Waco. Crosby on the run in the corner to A.J. West. West will pitch it across to Smith, back in the corner to Caulfield. He goes on the baseline, puts the shot up in traffic, and gets it to fall and also picks up the foul. Caulfield gets the two points. I believe it's going to be on 31. Vargas, his second foul, first team foul of the second half. Caulfield gets a shot at the three-point play but can't get it to go as Williams gets the rebound for University. Hopkins gets him in the air, goes to the backboard, then has his shot blocked. But also a body foul. All on Waco High's Caulfield. That'll be the first foul on Caulfield. First team foul from Waco High, but it puts Hopkins at the line for the first time tonight. Good with the first try. Rudder leads the district at 4-0, and then Waco High and AM consolidated at 2-1. Bryan's at 2-2. Temple and College Station. One and three in university scoreless or winless after three games in district play. Hopkins missed the second free throw. But Williams is able to get that one to go. Another foul on the other end. I believe they called this one on Mitchell. It'll be his second. And a timeout call. There you see the head coach for University, Tarl Lloyd, doing a little instructing as to how he wants his players positioned underneath the basket. And Tarl was the head coach here at University for several years before moving into administration, but now back at it on the sidelines. There, a good look at Earl Farley, the second year head coach for the Waco High Lions. 29-32 our score. <laughs> University inbound, Archibald looking for a teammate, gets it off to Williams. Waco High with that man-to-man -man defense has Caulfield on Williams. Oh, 
Well, Stinnett calls a foul on Caulfield. They're grabbing a hold of him. That's the second foul on Caulfield. Let's pass it into Bogus. Oh, high, a little bit more aggressive in the man for man here, but Mitchell on the baseline able to get it in. He's got 10 points in the game. Mitchell is a force to be reckoned with on that baseline. Again, he's a sophomore. Pretty good looking sophomore for Toro Lloyd. 32 29, three point contest. Five minutes left to go, third quarter. Crosby with a three off the mark. University rebound. Mitchell comes down with it with Williams, and Williams will drive it down to the free throw line. Now will take it to the hoop, but won't get it to fall. Caulfield clears it out. And a foul called on the pass. I believe it's going to be on Bogus, and it'll be his third. Two University Trojans with three fouls now, Brian Smith and Wilson Bogus. Backcourt violation. Waco High will inbound it on the near side. Jimmy Veal will start the offense as University stays in that 2-3 zone they've run pretty much all night long. Smith thought about the three, gets it back to Crosby. Crosby with an inside pass to Smith. He tries to tip it in on the alley hoop, but unable to get it to fall, and it goes off the University out of bounds, and Waco High will get an inbounds play. University will check in Avandia Henderson. He comes in for Bogus in his three fouls. Go high looking to trigger it to somebody. Gets it off to Smith finally. Crosby picked up by Henderson. Cross court pass to Veal. Veal on the baseline drives. Pitches it back outside. Crosby looked for the open three. Now drives in, lays it up and in. Crosby's got 10 points for the game, four in the period. They go high back up by three at 43-31. Quickly down court it goes to Dale Smith. Don't have numbers, gets it off to A.J. West. West loses control of the basketball, and it's off of University, and Tarl Lloyd doesn't agree. But cooler heads prevail. He says, just calm down. We'll get the ball back. Out to West. Under four minutes to go, third quarter. A.J. puts up the three-pointer, no good. West fighting for the rebound. It's out of bounds off of Waco High. It's a five-point lead for Waco High at the end of the first quarter, a four-point lead, excuse me, a five-point lead for University at the end of the first quarter, and a four-point lead for Waco High at the half. Mitchell looking for... Excuse me, that's Steven Johnson looking for somewhere to go with the ball, and he travels. Jordan Fuller going to check in for Waco High and give A.J. West a little time on the bench. Caulfield looking to set something up. He and Veal playing catch at the top. Veal now drives in, puts up the shot that's no good, but picks up a foul. I believe that's going to be on Steven Johnson. No, I'm sorry, it's going to be on Marquavian Mitchell. That'll be his third. If I've got the right player. Veal at the line. It's the first. Two for three from the three from the free throw line. Has four points in the game. It's this one as well. Brian Smith going to check in for University. Anderson back to the bench. Smith has three fouls, all those in the first quarter, first half. University gets the ball inbounded. Hopkins in the corner to Smith. Back out it comes to Williams, and Williams will reset it. Archibald drives into the lane, hits it off to Smith. Williams looking to reset it. Puts up the three-pointer. It's off the mark. 
Deal has the rebound for Waco. University tries to steal it from Veal, unable to do so. Caulfield will so, slow it down for the moment. Crosby from the right side. Back to Veal. In the corner to Fuller. Back out top, and the pass is stolen. Williams will take it all the way to the backboard and put it in. That's an experience from Justin Williams there to get his 11th points of the night. Made sure that trailing Waco line was not able to get into position to block his shot. Fuller with the three-pointer. No good. Hopkins rebounds it. University on the run, down three with 2.05 left to go, and Jordan Fuller's going to pick up the body block foul. Be the second foul on Fuller. It's on the floor, so University will inbounds underneath their own basket. Fuller out, Randy Carpenter in for Waco High. Earl Stinnett settling everybody down. Now ready for the inbounds pass. Comes into Williams. Picked up by Crosby. Turnaround jumper is blocked by Crosby, but foul is going to be called on Crosby. They say he got him on the elbow. About half the people in the gym believe that was a good block. Justin Williams is going to go to the free throw line. He's got 11 points on the night. He is three for six from the charity stripe tonight. It's this one. Minute 55 to go in the third quarter. It's a two-point contest at 36-34 in favor of Waco High. Williams makes it a one-point game. Andy Carpenter will trigger the offense. Off the deal. Looking inside to Dale Smith. The pass isn't there. Into the corner. Caulfield thought about the three. Carpenter drives. Shot is blocked by Mitchell. University on the run. Hopkins controls it. Can't get it to fall. Waco High trying to save him from going out of bounds. It goes off the of University's Hopkins. 36-35. Minute 27 left to go to the third quarter. Teams fighting for dominance as they head into the final eight minutes. Carpenter and Kyle Phil playing catch on the left side. University stays in that 2-3 zone. Trying to close down the paint. Crosby looking to penetrate, loses his footing and the basketball. Mitchell picks it up. Gets it off to Archibald with a minute to go. Wake University with a chance to take the lead. Mitchell, Williams on the baseline, puts it up and in. Williams gives the lead back to University. He's got five points in the, make that six points in the period and 15 for the game. Wake Ohio may try to hold it for the final shot here with 43 seconds to go. Caulfield, Deville to Crosby. Dale Smith working inside, trying to get open. University with the lead at 37-36. They led at the end of the first quarter by five. Caulfield thought he had the open three, gets it off to Crosby. Crosby drives in, puts up the shot, and is fouled on the way with 19 seconds to go. They're going to call a blocking shot on Mark Wavy and Mitchell. If I'm right, that's his fourth foul. That'll bring Bogus back into the game, who has three. As he waits while Crosby's at the free throw line. Ties it up at 37 apiece. Crosby comes in for Justin Williams. Maybe that foul wasn't on Mitchell. As Carl Lloyd's not getting him out of the game. Crosby gets the lead for Waco High with the free throw. He's got six in the period and 12 in the game. Get it across the timeline with 13 seconds left to go in the period. Bogus drives to the baseline, pitches it out to Smith. Pitches it off to Archibald. Archibald drives into the paint, passes it off. 
And they won't get a shot off. So we'll go to the final eight minutes with Waco High holding on to a lead by a point at 38 to 37. They scored 10 points in the period. While well, University was able to put 13 on the board. Closed down that four point gap at the end of the first half. We got Williams leading all scores with 15. Crosby's got 12 for Waco High to lead the Lions. The University looking for their first district win of the season. While Waco High is trying to keep pace with the league leader, Brian Rutter, who's off to a 4-0 start. Brian Smith, Justin Williams, Derek Hopkins, Marquavian Mitchell, and Archibald will be the five on the court for University to start the second half. Veal, Dale Smith, Crosby, Caulfield. That's the Waco High starting five out there. Foul called on Waco High. Excuse me, yeah, on Waco High. Guess they called that on Jimmy Veal. Williams puts up the shot. Mitchell cleans it up and puts it back in. Gives Mitchell 12 for the game and gives University the lead at 39-38. Could go back and forth this entire fourth quarter. On the baseline, West pitches it back out to Veal. Veal puts up a running shot that's good with the left-hander. Jimmy Veal with two points. Hopkins with the runner won't fall. Dale Smith comes out with the rebound off to Crosby. Crosby pitches it back to Smith. The Smith is fouled as he heads to the backboard. Might have been Archibald they called a foul on. Field triggers the inbounds pass. Pitches into Caulfield. Caulfield's shot partially blocked. Archibald comes down with a loose ball. He doesn't have numbers. He's going to have to pull it back out. And he loses the dribble. Just tried to do more than what was there as he had a one on four break and should have waited for help. They go high on top, 40 to 39, with a chance to extend it here. West puts up the two pointer, no good. Fights for his own rebound and comes up with it. Boy, that's some real hustle by A.J. West there. Now Crosby takes the three, it's off the mark. Dale Smith skies for the rebound, fight inside, scramble for the ball, Mitchell comes out with it, gets it off to Williams. Three on two break here for University, but Williams will bring it back out and set up the offense. Michael High continues in their man-to-man -man defense. Watch the ball picked up by Jimmy Veal. Hopkins from the right corner, takes it back out to the top. Crosby has him. Off to Brian Smith, gets by his man. Pass though is stolen away by Crosby and he'll take it in and lay it up. Crosby now has 14. Crosby has been the leading scorer for University seven times, or make that nine times this year. That's the most by anybody on the team. And right now the leading scorer in the game for Waco High. Three-pointer up and good. 
by Justin Williams. He's got 18 points. West drives in, shot is off the iron. Williams with the rebound. 42 apiece is our score, and we've got a blocking foul called. On University's number three, Tyron Archibald. My scorecard's correct, that's four on him. 5-17 left to go in the contest. Timeout called by University. Tara Lloyd wants to talk about it. 9 points in the second half for Justin Williams to go with the 9 in the first half gives him 18 to lead all scores. Marquavian Mitchell 6 in the first half, 6 in the second half. He's got 12 in the game. Crosby with his 8 points here in the second half gives him 14 for the game for Waco High. Just trying to double check my scorecard to make sure I got it all right. Yeah, it looks right. Twenty-seven. Well, I got two points too many for somebody. Um, It's 42 apiece. The University will inbound. Bogus to do the inbounding. Gets it off to Archibald. Mitchell and Williams have been the guys that have done the damage for University on the scorecard. Bounce pass in the corner is good for Mitchell for the two-pointer. He's got 14. University has the lead at 44-42. And now they have the basketball. Hopkins goes, or Bogus goes to the backboard and puts it in. He's just got four points in the game, and now Earl Fawley calls a timeout. He wants to calm his team down after they get behind by four at 46-42 with 4.41 left to go in the game. It has been a seesaw battle. University had the lead after the first quarter by five at 17 to 12, but Waco High outscored University 16 to seven in the second quarter to take a four point lead to the locker room at 28 to 24. University closed that gap to a point at the end of the third quarter with 13 points in the third quarter to 10 for Waco High and now University has scored the first nine points of this one to, of this quarter to just four for Waco High. Waco High has the basketball and will bring it in from underneath the University basket. No pressure from University as they look like they kind of gone to a 1-2-2 zone here. Crosby gets it off to Veal. Veal on the drive, has the ball blocked, but apparently somebody got a piece of him. I believe that's going to be on 14, Justin Williams, and I have that as just his first foul. But sends Jimmy Veal to the line where he's three for four, hits this one. He now has five points in the second half and eight for the game. Makes it a two-point game with that free throw. 46-44. Mitchell helps with the inbounds pass as Williams will bring it up, guarded by Crosby. Again, Williams the only returning starter from last year's very successful university team, which made it all the way to the regional semifinals. Pass down low, stolen away by Waco High. Crosby saves it for the Lions. Chance for the Lions to tie it or take the lead with exactly four minutes to go in the Game, Veal drives, puts it up, no good. Dale Smith 
had position for the rebound but couldn't control it, but it goes off the University. Waco High has the ball underneath their own basket. Hill waiting for his teammates to set up for the inbounds pass. They throw it in the far corner. Cross it goes to Fuller. Fuller's three-pointer is good. Jordan Fuller has eight points in the game. That's his first tray of the night. Waco High on top, 47-46. A seesaw battle going on here in the fourth quarter. Williams puts up a three. It's good. Justin Williams answers with his second three of the fourth period. University back on top by two. Now they steal the pass. Caulfield, though, saves it. Waco High, or University gets it down court to Mitchell. Mitchell will pass it back out to Boggess. Boggess puts it up. No good. Mitchell gets the rebound. It won't fall. Here goes Caulfield. They've got the fans on their feet. Smith drives. They call it no. They call a foul in the lane as Mitchell fouled him on the way to the backboard. I got that as the fifth foul on Mitchell, but I could be incorrect as far as the number of fouls. It's going to send Dale Smith to the line, shooting one and one. That was the seventh team foul against University. Off the back of the iron, no good. Mitchell gets the rebound. University has a two-point lead. Williams has the ball knocked away. And they're going to call a foul on Crosby. Much to the delight of university fans, but Waco High fans not a big fan of that call. They got three fouls on Crosby. That's the seventh team foul, so it'll send Williams to the line for a one and one. He is four of seven from the charity stripe and a timeout call. Both teams are in the bonus. As it has been a seesaw battle throughout the night. I think the largest lead by either team has been five. It's been no more than a three possession ball game at any point. Trojans hanging tough with their crosstown rivals. First meeting between these two schools. While we have this timeout, let's acknowledge our crew from Waco ISD TV here to bring you the game. On cameras are Leslie Ugaldi, Jesse Maldonado, and Tyrell McSpadden. Our graphics director is Ricky Mazza, and our producer director tonight, Jesse Pateo, and here with me on stats is Steve Tankersley. Thank you, gang. Appreciate your work. Do an outstanding job. Hi, y'all. Tank's right there with me. Williams at the line. He'll get the bonus. Puts University up by three at 50 to 47. Trojans looking for their first district win. I improved their overall record to 8 and 16. Not good on that one. Bill gets the rebound. Twenty points for Williams in the game now. Dale Smith pitches it back out to Crosby. He puts up the threes, no good. Hopkins comes out with the rebound for University's double team, gets it off to Archibald. Bounce pass to Boggess. Boggess will take it to the hoop, but it won't fall. Mitchell's there to put it back, though, and he gets fouled. Mark Wavy and Mitchell. He's got 16 in the game. They're all from the field. This will be his first time at the charity line. 2.23 left to go in the game. A.J. West going to check in for Waco High, replacing Jordan Fuller. Mitchell gets a chance at one more. Oh. 
Off the iron, no good. Waco has the rebound. 52-47, our score, a five-point lead for University. 2.15 left to go. Caulfield eyed the three, now pitches it off to Veal. Veal goes in and is fouled as he tried to go into the paint. He does going to call that on Hopkins. That'll be his third, according to my highly unofficial scorecard. Jimmy Veal at the line. Good with the first one. It's five for five here in the second half from the free throw line. Six for seven overall. He's got 10 points in the game, make it 11. Three-point game at 52-49. Williams across the timeline. Clock hits the two-minute mark. Williams against Veal. Can't penetrate. Gets it off to Hopkins. Hopkins drives to the backboard. Underpass to Mitchell. Goes out of bounds off of University. Waco High's basketball. Rodney Smith. The athletic coordinator for University is voicing his displeasure on the call, but he gets just a big smile from the officials. As the timeout's been called. This one's been fun. University had a five-point lead at the end of the first quarter. They had a five-point lead just moments ago here in the fourth quarter. Waco High, though, had a four-point lead at halftime and a one-point lead at the end of the third quarter. It's been a tight game the entire time. These two teams will meet each other in the second half of the round robin on February the 6th. Next action for University will be right back here at the University Gym taking on Temple. Uh, Waco High, their next action will be on the road at a &M Consolidated. This game being recorded for replay on Waco ISD TV on January the 12th. That's a Friday night, so the next action for these two teams will come next Tuesday, January the 16th. Waco High inbounds it with a Minute 48 to go, trailing by three. A.J. West gets it back to Veal. Crosby to Veal to West. West tries to penetrate. Down low it goes to Dale Smith. He has it stripped away by Williams, and it goes off of Dale Smith's leg, according to the officials. And University has the basketball with 90 seconds to go. Brian Smith will check in for University. Sends Wilson Bogus to the sideline. Waco High will pressure the inbounds pass. They get it to Archibald. Picked up by Crosby. Can't trap him at the timeline. Archibald looking to dribble it out as long as he possibly can. Gets around Crosby, goes in the corner to Mitchell. Mitchell back out to Archibald with a minute 10 to go. University trying to eat up as much clock while they have the lead and get the underhand finger roll from Archibald to fall. That's his fourth point of the night, but I don't know that it could be any more important as University steals the ball. Nice job by Hopkins to come up with it. Archibald knocks it off of Crosby out of bounds. It'll be University basketball. Under a minute to go. University fans on their feet. Timeout called as Carl Lloyd wants to talk to his team in this final minute to try to hold on to their five-point advantage. 54 to 49. Our next action here on Waco ISD TV will come next Tuesday when we go to the Waco High gym as the Waco High girls will take on AM Consolidated. Trying to avenge an earlier loss to Consolidated. Waco High got behind very early in that contest. At halftime, they trailed a score of 36 to seven. So. 
hopefully Coach Brown's team has improved a little bit since then. As again, that's our next action on Waco ISD TV. The Waco High girls against AM Consolidated. Back to action we go here with less than a minute to play. University inbounding the ball. They get it into Mitchell. And a foul called on Dale Smith as he fouls Mitchell at the baseline. I don't believe Dale Smith has many fouls against him. That's just his second, according to my scorecard. Mitchell going to the line for the second time. It's a one and one. He's only tried one free throw before now, and he missed that one. Jordan Fuller checks in for Waco High, comes in for Darren Dawkins. Mitchell looking to make it a two-possession ball game, and does. Six-point lead. They make it a three-possession game with this shot. The sophomore is off the iron, and it falls in. Seven points, I believe, is the largest lead of the night for either team. Comes with 50 seconds left to go in the game, and it belongs to the University Trojans at 56-49. Mitchell will get a rest. Bogus back into the game. Waco High trying to conserve as much clock as they can. Here comes Crosby. He's going to take it to the hoop, and the finger roll goes. Hard to stop Crosby, and timeout call. Crosby now has 14 in the game. Make that 16 with eight here in the second half. Five point contest. Again, Justin Williams, I believe, leads all scores. With 20 points. McQuavian Mitchell has come on strong too. He's got 18. I believe that's going to be the most points that Mitchell has scored this year. Yeah, he had 18 points to lead all scorers against C.E. King back on January the 2nd. Baseball pass. Long down court goes off of Waco High's Jimmy Veal. And University will get the inbounds from underneath their own basket. 39 seconds to play. Gets it out to Williams, and Williams is fouled by Jimmy Veal. Just the second foul on Veal, but that should put Waco, our university, in the double bonus. And Justin Williams at the line looking for his 21st point of the night. Off the front of the iron, no good. Looking to make it 57-51. Not able to do so. That was a good foul on Waco High's point. Caulfield off to Crosby. Crosby back to Caulfield in the corner. He puts up the three-pointer. It's off the iron. Bill Smith fights for the rebound. Comes up with it, pitches it back out to Crosby. Once again, it goes to Caulfield, to Crosby. Jimmy Veal puts up the three. It'll fall. First three-pointer of the night for Jimmy Veal, and Waco High calls a timeout with less than 16 seconds to go in a two-point contest at 56-54. 14 points now for Jimmy Veal, 11 of those in this second half. Crosby has 16 for Waco High. 16 for him, 14 for Veal. Only two players in double figures for Waco. This one's going to go down to the wire. University had a seven-point lead at one point here in the fourth quarter. Largest lead for either team on the night. University is in the double bonus. 
when they go to the foul line. Waco High is still a couple of university fouls away from the double bonus. Nearly a packed house here at the Waco University High School Gymnasium for this Crosstown rivalry. University inbounding from underneath the Waco backboard. And again, less than 16 seconds left to go in the game. Timeout called by University as they had trouble getting the inbounds pass. That's a good timeout there. Archer ball. Uh, Earl Farley is saying the University doesn't have any timeouts left. And so that would be a technical foul against University and Waco High would get free throws and the ball if that's the case. But apparently according to the scorer's table, University has not committed a foul or not called more timeouts than they have. So we'll continue to play. Although there's still a discussion going on at the scorer's table. Earl Foley is of the opinion. Well, they, they put the ball in play, and you got two officials that aren't even ready. Got two officials over at the scorer's desk. Earl Sinet put the ball in play. Well, they stop it quickly. And now we're ready to go back to action. University just needs to get the ball in bounds and then pick up the foul as Dawkins gets called with the foul. That's his first. Pretty much the reason why he's in the game is to pick up a foul. He has fouls to give, but still it's the double bonus for University and Hopkins is going to the line. He's got eight points on the night. One for two from the free throw line. Able to convert. Makes it a three-point game. Now trying to make it a two-possession contest with this one. Less than 15 seconds to play. Hopkins may have sealed it right there. They go high, quickly down court. Jimmy Veal drives, nobody fouls. He puts it in and good. University gets the ball in and Jordan Fuller immediately fouls. Third foul on Fuller. Gonna send Williams to the free throw line with 3.7 seconds left. A two point game at 58-56. Say that not now, they say 4.41 seconds on the clock. But you have Justin Williams at the line, who has missed three in a row. But is the leading scorer in the game with 20. Trying to force Waco High to shoot a three pointer to tie it. University in a double bonus, so he'll get two shots. He got that one to fall. Waco High has to hit a three-pointer now. And Williams can maybe seal the deal here. Less than five seconds to go. He gets it to go. 22 points for Justin Williams. Waco High has to hurry, not only get the points, but the foul, the three-pointer on the way. It's no good at the buzzer. And University comes away with a 60-56 to victory over the Waco Lions tonight. For University, they'll pick up their first district win to go to one and three, while Waco High falls to two and two.
in district action. And again, these two teams will meet again on February the 6th at the Waco High Gym. High point man tonight for University is Justin Williams with 22. And Crosby and Beal, the leading scorers for Waco High tonight. I want to thank our crew for all the great pictures and audio tonight. Our statistician, Steve Tankersley, for the help. Once again, our final score is University 60 and Waco High 56. Until next time, I'm Mark Smith saying good night from the University High School Gymnasium.